yeah once again uh, welcome to our uh, live channel i just wanted to show you the first floor also and uh, you know you can see this the steps uh, the inclination and everything was done uh, properly and we have used this fiber cement board on the uh, top of this uh, uh, material uh, steel uh, staircase and uh, this is the status is something like you know we have done the steel structure is completed again the fabrication total work is completed wall scope walls internal external wall scope is completed and these kind of some plumbing related works were pending and uh, as i was telling i uh, this since this span was of uh, eight feet you can see from here two four six eight feet so it was very difficult uh, to accommodate this much span of the uh, you know structure or cantilever we can say without the column but the client wanted as per was so he didn't wanted some column here so like this type of braces uh, we have given because uh, the structure was playing initially now there is no problem with the uh, playing of this uh, uh, steel structure after the client's confirmation then we have proceeded for this uh, internal external walls this is the uh, hall over there that is the entrance from there and this is all uh, customer requested and these columns will be covered with the pvc ceiling or gypsum or fiber cement board and the first floor uh, fire electrical wiring lighting points work is completed chipping work is completed and one coat paint you can see here this is the concealed conduit which we have given and one coat uh, uh, putty work is also done and uh, here uh, wallpaper client has selected some wallpaper we are giving wallpapers option because over a period of time whether it is due to the any external or any type this kind of joints will be visible so we have advised the client to go with the wallpapers only just to cover with that uh, joint so that it will not embarrass uh, or you know it should not look uh, good that the clack has come and this will form again a negative this thing that villa aerocon panels will be that cracks will be visiting so any vendor who is doing this work should advise the client that this joint will be visible over a period of time and we can suggest some alternate options and this is the initial uh, chipping how it will happen so this is left out just to show uh, and this the plumbing lines uh, work is completed and the plumbing work is as normal as what we do for the uh, rcc buildings and you can see this is a wall mixer point and uh, this is a shower point and you know this joint filling is done here the tiles will come again here also ceiling will come on this uh, top of that we will do some uh, civil work with the brick and so that these pipes are concealed and covered and we are doing waterproofing for this uh, part also the balcony area also and as you can see this balcony area is around three and a half feet in the front it is eight feet and in the back it is almost three feet so this is again kitchen area so here uh, we are doing the quads uh, kitchen uh, platform and cupboard uh, hopefully with the fiber cement board and the shutters with the modular or carpentry work uh, as the client prefers we, we have provided this sajas also uh, for the doors and uh, windows and these are the plumbing lines uh, which we have provided here uh, just I am touring you the first floor uh, because in that uh, previous live I didn't show this thing and uh, you can see this, this is the sink part which has come here. So this part we will make on a box type framing we will make it with the cement this thing and also uh, you know this, this is how the wall looks like and this is the skylight area which we have kept it open and the skylight there are client is selecting some designs according to his design he will do it and uh, one coat putty work is done and the main important points which i want to stress here these none of these steel columns none of these steel columns will be visible uh, we will cover or conceal it with lot of uh, different materials we are planning some uh, other materials also in the front from our side to give some uh, you know elegant look or some modern look 
we want to use some lowers or wall cladding materials which are waterproof you know to give some very good look and also client also have shared us some ele elevation design so we will work on that elevation design now there is no such issue with the durability of the steel and the wall panels there is no such issues now the current part the next phase what i will be able to showing is the waterproofing once these joints are done we will apply our uh, waterproofing material and i will show you whether there is any leakage or not once the leakage is there or if there is no leakage at all then we will go ahead with the flooring on the terrace or uh, any other uh, tile work or whatever they prefer it and uh, this is the once the electrical concealing is done uh, the chipping is done we will we can close this with the cement or white cement or putty or pop so anything can be done and uh, here the scope of work next scope of work is will be the drain work is going on so fall ceiling framing will be done then doors windows uh, flooring so marble client has preferred to go for the marble on this floor the so marble flooring will happen rest of the things are same like how we do it in rcc construction now many technical doubts what i get every time is like you know this steel columns will be covered or not then how about the waterproofing then what about the if it rains the sound will be uh, you know how it whether it will absorb the sound or not and whether we can screw uh, the ac indoor units or wall hangings or cupboards we can we make it or not or will there be any seepage with the uh, these walls any water leakage with these walls how the doors fit can we use the teak woods or not when we use the windows uh, here this windows will be fitting or not and how about this plumbing and electrical and uh, many layman as a layman many people they will be asking lot of questions and many people also they have some requirements so the general procedure what we follow is we'll ask them to visit any of the existing sites so that they will understand how the look is there how the feel is there and they will ask whether can we jump on this floor or not and does it make any sound when we walk it you know uh, like lot of lot of doubts regular doubts what we will get uh, during the construction the main advantage going for this kind of uh, steel buildings is one thing is uh, cost a little bit price difference is there and uh, the most and uh, critical thing is that this can be completed on a war food basis uh, it's been only one month since the site has been handed over to us from the foundation part and uh, within one month we have completed almost 60 to 70 percent of the work rest of the things are going on based on some selections are there and some kind of other requirements are there and hopefully we'll be able to complete the whole part within a uh, within a month so by march and we will be able to give you the final look inside and outside how will it will look and the elevation part and the client also had added some other scope of the work like he wanted for the grill uh, safety and all that things are there so we'll we'll be giving you the regular updates about the things uh, the other part i request is that everybody keep on calling and asking me about the quotations and all you keep your plan ready and we'll give you some basic pricings so that you can calculate yourself and uh, each Uh, site has got some different logistics issues and other challenges so currently we are serving only uh, four states karnataka karnataka chennai tamil nadu andhra pradesh telangana and we are probably starting in other uh, north indian parts also so thank you so much uh, for the live session uh, those who have already joined and if you have any queries you i have my website and mobile numbers in my description so you can visit and uh, whatsapp me if you have any queries thank you so much